A user logged on with administrator privileges can add a camera by navigating to the server icon and selecting cameras to begin the process. When the camera tab is open, you'll see a list of installed cameras. Click on the new button to activate the new camera wizard. Check that the correct camera driver is loaded. You could search the Cathexis website under Integrations to see if your specific camera is integrated. Alternatively, the OnVIF driver can be selected if the camera is OnVIF compliant. We will be using the Axis driver for our camera. You could manually enter the correct camera IP address and login and password details. These can be found in the manufacturer's manual. A different method of obtaining the IP address is to click on the Scan button. And if the camera is UPnP enabled, the cameras that are connected and not allocated will be detected. Select the camera from the list and the fields will be populated with the detected values. Make sure that all the information is correct. Clicking Next connects the camera. The camera status will go from waiting for device to connecting to device and finally connected. Once the camera is connected, the general settings screen will allow you to give the camera a descriptive name. Driver, IP and MAC address and firmware details also appear on the screen. Next opens the video feed settings, where the formats and resolution can be adjusted. Accepting the default settings will give a high resolution feed. These settings can be edited to suit the requirements. Remember that the higher the resolution and frame rate, the clearer and smoother the video will be, but the higher the bandwidth and storage requirements will be. Here, the frame rate and keyframe distance, as well as video quality settings, can be adjusted to values that are best suited for your situation. Click OK to continue. A low resolution analytics feed can automatically be created by clicking on the blue spanner icon. It is not necessary, but you could also enable live view and recording for the analytics feed by right-clicking and choosing the option from the resulting pop-up menu. To test that all is functioning correctly, click the little green arrow icon to activate live view. After clicking next, you'll be prompted to set up recordings, if recordings are enabled in the camera feed section. Choose the database for your scheduled recordings as well as the frame rate and schedule to use. Click Next to close the schedule recording setup and open the analytics recording setup screen. Follow the same procedure for activity or motion detection recording. You can also configure pre-event times to record the events leading up to the initial trigger. Select the Analytics tab and draw the zone that must be monitored using the tools provided. Left click and drag to add areas to be monitored and right click and drag to remove areas. Any movement detected inside this area will activate the event recording. Simple motion detection triggers will have automatically been configured. Click Finish when you're done. The camera should now appear on the camera's list. Selecting the Site tab opens the camera viewing screen where we can drag the camera from the Resources panel onto the video wall where we can view its stream. We have added the camera with scheduled recording as well as motion detection to Cathexis Vision. Thank you for watching.